Welcome to Home Gourmet. Um, today, Kolu has done a series of three wonderful and very unique pork dishes for us. Hi, Kolu. Hi. <laughs> How's well, it going you know, Thank you. I'm doing fine. Uh, pork, mainly, because I know you don't eat beef. Yeah. <laughs> so, remember some of the dishes, or most of the dishes can be done with beef, too. Right. Or even nice lamb. So, okay. though I'm doing the basic all in pork because pork products in this country are excellent, yeah. I feel. Very, so we very start, good. so I mean, I'm actually going to do three dishes and I'm going to uh, taste, get to taste all three at the end. So okay. So the three different kinds of pork dishes okay. I made. Lovely. I'm going to start with this Moroccan style pork because yeah. that had take some time to cook. So I okay. just begin here, send it to my other kitchen. Right. And then we could eat that at the end. Okay. And uh, again, lots of ingredients, but an absolutely simple uh, dish, dish to recipe make. to make. And uh, just let me go through this. This is pork from a nice bit of roast pork. Okay. The pork for roasting, but I cut it up into cubes. Okay. Uh, garlic, of course. Yeah. A lovely bit of tomato paste, so you can use tomato puree. Uh, these are kidney beans, because you had to use as white beans otherwise, but kidney they beans can't find them, it's no issue. Okay. There's a stock cube here. A lovely freshly ground cumin. Yeah. Peanut butter. Lovely. Uh, raisins. Right. Yellow bell peppers. Chopped up tomatoes, plum tomatoes, yeah. and of course, these are red onions I'm okay. using. I'm not using the big Normal, onions, yeah. the red onions. Now, it's quite easy. All you have to do, you know, <laughs> I know you're always intimidated when you see all the dishes. <laughs> you put all of these lovely ingredients, other than for the peanut butter, which okay. comes right at the end after a lot of cooking. Right. So, what I do now, and you also can help me, okay. I shall give you of course. a spoon. I'd love to. And uh, I shall put the water okay. into it, right? And then into this, I'm going to do put a stock cube. Right. This is of course I'm using the no chicken cube, but they, though it says two cubes, yeah. I'm just crushing one into it because there's another secret ingredient of no which is in it. Okay. Now. You can start adding the rest. Right, so... Shall I put this on the fireplace yeah. so that it gets cooking? Okay. Right. And you can just add, keep on adding okay. red onions. Right, so the whole lot goes in there. The whole lot goes in there. Okay. The bell peppers, the whole lot. Yeah. I love the um, yellow bell peppers, they're so sweet. Sweet, no? And All of the raisins, okay. why not? And Moroccan cooking, you know, this is what I love about it. They yeah. sort of combine the sweet with the savoury. Savoury. Um, not so the peanut butter, the beans. The kidney beans. The beans in. And could, are these canned? Or these, are mean, these are canned. Uh, actually, you have to use those, uh, I didn't walk about it, the garbanzo beans. Okay. But I'm using kidney, kidney beans. beans. I couldn't get them today here. Great. Uh, yeah, but... Three quarters of it, that's oh, enough. Oops. That's fine. <laughs> Almost all of it uh, went. The cumin, <laughs> we can't, just I'll put that. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Now, again, Good I'm touch. not putting any salt into this yeah. because of, uh, you know, the, all this Moroccan cooking, you'll find cumin or cinnamon in it. Okay. So, so it's a got nice that. stir. Right. Would and you like your okay. garlic? Yeah. Yes, the garlic. Also, half of it. Mmm. Mm. Can I get that? Oh yeah, the right. cumin, yeah, it's good, yeah. that's, wow. I know, so you let this nicely cook. Okay. Now, the thing about this is that the tomatoes also into it. The only thing, as you see, we are left with the peanut, peanut butter. butter. And why is that, you know, we let this cook. I mean, the pork is cooked properly on yeah. a slow cooker, on a slow fire. We will then add the peanut right. butter last. Okay. If you put it now, it'll get thick and catch the paint. Okay. So we don't want it to be roasting all over. And Kulu, is this your couscous? Couscous, that's for okay. you to have it with. Oh, yum. Huh? <laughs> couscous is easy, just follow the instruction and pack it one <laughs> and to one. Boom, and you're and done your with it. It's made. Now, I have a little secret ingredient from okay. Noor, which is this garlic and onion seasoning powder. Okay, wow. Okay, it's delicious. Yeah. So I'm going to just put a wee bit of that because we have already put a cube of this thing. Right, Sprinkle okay. Sprinkle a bit of this thing into this to give it a little more additional flavor. Okay, super. And all we do now, since all of these nice ingredients together, yeah. we will now add the pork into that. Okay. Cover it with a tight lid and cook it for and some it time. Cook. Okay. okay, great. So that's that. That's that done. So and let it cook. I'll send it to the kitchen at the back. Okay. And at the end, when I bring it out, I will add the peanut the butter. So leave that aside there, Minoli. Okay, I'll keep that there. And that's what you're going right. to have later. 
So while Kulu sends us off to the kitchen, why don't you take a quick look at the ingredients? Moroccan pork. One and a half pounds boneless pork loin roast. Two cans garbanzo beans or kidney beans. 12 ounces plum tomatoes. One large yellow bell pepper. Half a cup chopped red onion. Half a cup golden raisins. Two tablespoons tomato paste. Two tablespoons of water. Three cloves of garlic. Two cubes of chicken stock. One and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. Hot cooked couscous, optional. Great, well, um, you've had a look at the ingredients for the first dish and Kolu in the meantime is set up for the next one with um, these lovely sort of colorful. <laughs> <laughs> it's pork it's, chops, minoli this okay. time. And it's with ginger. Right. Uh, so it's more ginger flavored. And we're looking at orange juice. Okay. Is the orange juice here. Yeah, I was going to say that's very interesting. I've never had sort of uh, pork and orange. But it's a marinade. So I'm going okay. to just put the orange just straight away into a bowl by yeah. introducing the ingredients. There's the rind of orange. You must remember not to put the white bit of it because the white bit only keeps the bitterness right, in the bit. All yeah. this else is very nice. We can put that into the bit the whole lot. Why nice. not? Then there's grated ginger. Okay. Scoop the whole thing in. So I'm loving the sound of this sort of combination, flavor combination. Give it a bit of a kick. kick. <laughs> Some chili paste. Uh -huh. That's the oriental <laughs> side of it. And then the soy sauce. Great. That's nice, nice, nice ingredients. And last but not least, the ginger. So you nice gives a nice terminology. Right. Mm -hmm. So you want all of those ingredients to combine. Combine really together. Well. And then I will drop the pork chops into okay. that. Trongs are. Trongs are such a necessity in the kitchen. Yeah. Because you don't want to touch the touch meat. It. Yeah. And this, you know, you nicely marinate it. Okay. Put it, cut it, uh, cover it with some cling wrap. Right. And marinate it. I mean, this depends on how we are just doing two chops because it's yeah. only you I have to feed. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, keep this in the fridge for at least two hours. Okay. So that's, it's simple, easy. Yeah. And I mean, Kolu, so um, from my understanding, I don't know if this is correct or not, the longer you marinate it, the better. So if you were to keep it overnight, would that be better? Yes, and it's also very convenient because right. if you're getting organized for tomorrow and you have some other work to do today, you can do it because after this, all you have to do is to nicely grill them. Okay, wonderful. So we shall put this in the fridge Fantastic. for a little while and you can Great. talk about all the ingredients. Too. Super. Oh, yeah. Yep, so um, while this goes in the fridge and sets uh, marinades, why don't you take a look at the ingredients and after that we're going to go into a little break, but come right back because we'll come back uh, to some cooking with Kolu. We'll see you soon. Ginger pork chops, half a cup orange juice, two tablespoons soy sauce, two tablespoons minced fresh ginger root, two tablespoons grated orange zest, one teaspoon minced garlic, one teaspoon chili paste, half a teaspoon salt, six pork loin chops, half an inch thick. Hi, welcome back to Home Gourmet. Now, We've chilled this for two hours, actually, while you've been in that little break. <laughs> and it's sort of absorbed all this lovely marinade that Kolu's put it in. Um, and now we're just going to... I just heated this griddle pan nicely. Right. Now, this you can also do on the barbecue. Okay. Uh, but I'm just doing it on the griddle pan. It's much easier for us. Yeah. And I shall let the oil heat up nicely here. And, I, and Kolu, during the break, you were saying that this sort of pan is something, again, that, you know, is quite essential to have in the kitchen. It's one of the most used pans I have in my kitchen because I grill a lot of things. Yeah. And I love this, it's an only red open, you put your barbecue or with anything big, just put this, so pop this on the pan, heat it up. Okay. And it's all ready for it's use. ready to go. So, and as soon as it's heated up, you know, yeah. as it will be now, we put this beautifully marinated chops onto it. Okay. Okay, we'll let it nicely cook onto one side. 
Now, are you a fan of pork chop? Love it. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I think pork is one of the best meats that we have in, uh, in Sri Lanka. Oh, definitely. The yeah. best. Absolutely good product. Uh, I'm not sure what the sausage is. Yeah, but the but pork the product pork, is the yeah. pork fillet, which is one of the healthiest meats you can have. Okay. Because that has absolutely zero fat. fat. The pork fillet. Yeah. So if you're going on a diet, That's and the acid is lean meat, the leanest meat is the pork fillet. Okay, mm. that's interesting to know. Okay. And so how long roughly does a sort of chop take to cook? That what depends, because I, I of course like my pork well done. I don't yeah. believe in this pork no. being raw. I mean, no, because that's... Some people tend to say, oh, we like to have it raw, but that's all. I don't know, I think no. it's nonsense. I like to have my pork very yeah. well done. So. Because pork stay. is a meat that you really have to cook through yeah. properly, because otherwise you you know you're quite likely to get sick. Uh, right? I don't so use your tendency to get poisoning. Is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to have a diary, yeah, as they call it. Uh. Unless you're serving dinner to someone that you don't you like, like much. Yeah. <laughs> so the beauty of this, you cook all this minoli. Yeah. And once they're cooked well, all you do is pour the juice also into it, so you have your ready-made sauce with okay, it. Okay, fantastic. Uh. So I'm going to get this going. Well, that looks and whilst great. And while we get this, yeah, it's and beautiful, this, yeah. the griddle, all the grill marks on that. And once we get that ready, I'm going to do a beautiful black Thai pork for you. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful Fantastic. ingredients, lots of ingredients, also very easy to cook. Great. So, while this is cooking, I said, I'm going to give away everything together, you know, so they yeah. know the different flavors yeah. at once. They have a nice glass of water of each thing. Here we start. Fantastic. Okay, and I can see again, Kolu's got some great ingredients here. Mm. Um, I love this toasted uh, sesame. Toasted sesame, see, that's wonderful. No? Yeah. So I'm going to give you some fun to do okay. because you're going to take all this pork which we have here. Right. Put this, uh, but before that, we make the seasoning for you okay. to dance around with the Ziploc <laughs> bag while I'm making the sauce. So for that, we can <laughs> put some chili powder in your Ziploc okay. bag. Here we go. I love the bags, so they're really used to have lots of things. Very uh, handy. Come with sweet side as you can do with that <laughs> one. So, <laughs> as you see it yourself, no? <laughs> right? Uh, That's the ginger. Okay. Let me give you some garlic. Right. Lovely. And some toasted sesame seed. Superb. Okay. I love the nuttiness mm. of that. I'm not putting any salt to that. Okay. And now I'm going to let you have a good time. With the, pork. with the pork. And again, Kolu, is this the same cut that uh, we used earlier? Yeah, you can either it's use the filet or the loin. Okay. These are the, I have used it from the filet. Right. So all you do is give it a good shake. If you don't feel okay. it's enough or anything, you so just that. kind of. Now, while you're shaking and being very, very, very <laughs> bad, I'm going to take another pan. <laughs> right. And put some stock into it. Right. Or water, whichever, but I like to use stock. So I shall pour some stock into it. Okay. And I really want to coat all the meat with that lovely yeah. uh, nice. spice. Then put the soy sauce. A bit of a salsa piquant sauce. Or Tabasco if you don't have that. Okay. So don't bother, you know, I always think there's no point. If you don't have an ingredient, you don't have to worry about it. Just go on Substitute. The next one. Substitute. So we have that. The vinegar, which I'm going to use is going to be balsamic vinegar. Okay. Mm, lovely. I love and again, pork. sorry, pork and balsamic, the flavors yeah. are just so beautiful together. I know, since you said that, I'm gonna put a little yeah. more into <laughs> that. And the peanut butter. And we get it to all incorporate together here. Okay. So maybe nice sauce. Right. Here, which you take only a jiffy. To make. Right, um, so while Koli makes the sauce, I've coated all the pork here. Why don't all of you at home take a look at the ingredients? Black Thai pork. Four boneless pork chops cut into stir-fry strips. One cup salsa or picante sauce. Half a cup peanut butter. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Two tablespoons balsamic vinegar. One tablespoon sherry. One tablespoon water. One teaspoon chili powder. Half a teaspoon ground ginger. Half a teaspoon garlic salt a quarter teaspoon pepper, one tablespoon vegetable oil, one tablespoon sesame seeds, toasted if desired, two tablespoons thinly sliced spring onions, three cups of hot cooked cellophane noodles or rice.
Great, well, lots of lovely, great ingredients there. Kulu's working on his sauce, which is giving off this incredible aroma. How are you doing over there? That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> now that's done. Okay. Quick, easy sauce. Now what I'm going to do is heat this pan up. Oh, my well seasoned pan should be used for the last five years. Really? Oh, for my demonstration. <laughs> my. So you love them and they're I good pans. Them. I love them. Right. Your, your, you know, they also become a party for family. Yeah. And the handle breaks and I'm going to be upset about it, you know? Like Very a child emotion. losing its limb or something like that. <laughs> huh? And there was just a bit of vegetable oil into that. Okay. And now I hope you have... Oh, wow. I have. I've, I think I've coated it quite well. I'm quite impressed with this. I know. And you've done an uh. excellent job. Thank you. And now, we have, once it heats up in oil, yeah. we're going to have the pleasure of putting it into this. I'm using very little oil. Yeah. People fast when you use a lot of oil, you know, in the programs. Like and so it's, un I, it's unnecessary. Yeah, right? so you so don't need to. Saturday also on Saturday <laughs> on Facebook or something like that. <laughs> they would like to feed the person who's cooking it. <laughs> okay, Mino, I'm giving the honors. I'm going to step aside okay. and give you the honors of slipping all the tin. Right, okay. So Ziploc bags are very useful. Handy. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Let's shake it all in. Right. There we go. That's nice. So we cook that thoroughly, okay. and then you're going to enjoy the, all the three flavors it's together of three different pork dishes. All right. Do we add the? Yeah. That I'm comes in put, at the last. I'm going to put is that it? last. Okay. Into then that. The, you see, when you put alcohol into yeah. cook alcohol, it burns off all the alcohol. Right. So you just. Together. I don't want to give you the flavor of it for you. <laughs> right. so I add that you know last. me well, Kalu. I know, I want to add that last. So you can put it in this and destroy it. <laughs> but we like to have a kick also, no? Yeah. Shady can say it's very good if you need to sleep. Oh, really? Yeah. I know, I don't I, know that, actually. I, if, if I drink, yeah. I wake up. But if I have sherry, You're I want to sleep. Lovely. Yeah, so I love port, actually. It's a yeah. new yeah. Favorite thing yeah, I lived of in mine. Portugal and had the most wonderful teleport all the time, everywhere, oh. right? So as you can see, pork is nicely cooking through here. Lovely. The sesame seed is also toasted a bit. And it's nice because it's kind of coated in that, so it's got a, another texture. It's got adds another yeah. texture to the and pork. And see how well it sticks into it without yeah. separating. You know, that's the secret of this bag. Thing. Yeah. If you can coat it better than if you try to coat it with your hands. hands. Superb. So another wonderful tip for you from Kolu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's cooking very nicely. So that's cooking, so we have our sauce here. Okay. I know we would like to taste it now. Yeah. You can put a bit of your sherry into it now. Okay, super. Oh, say when. Oh, lovely, that's enough. <laughs> 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 that's like a 25 ml or 50. Uh -huh. <laughs> it looked more 50 to me. Yeah? <laughs> I think it was close on 100. Yeah. I think I planned to have this meal and go straight to bed. Straight to bed. Right. Straight to bed. So there it's cooking nicely. Gosh, that looks lovely. Color. Color. I don't really it's the smell of the sherry. <laughs> or the pork I think it's I'm both getting. that are right. kind of uh, combining beautifully and together. And then knocking us up the sesame. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. So Great. That should be done. And all I'm going to do is pour this nicely into this and let it cook thoroughly. It's a beautiful black Thai pork. And it's um, it's very interesting flavor combination for Thai. You wouldn't think it was typically Thai, but yeah. it's. Uh, Actually, they use molasses instead of uh, okay. cherry, uh, but, but I couldn't find molasses, so I told you there's nothing to fret about and everything, just substitute immediately. Yeah. And along, and then you put the sprinkle of the onion, spring onion. Lovely. Oh my gosh, it's just... It's delicious. Yeah, thing. it's the it aroma. It smells delicious. Huh? You just kind of really want to dive, dive into that. Into I hope you dive into it, <laughs> because <laughs> now I'm going to bring the first one out, our Moroccan pork, okay. finish that off, yeah. and present to you the, all three dishes for you to eat, me now. Fantastic. So uh, while Kolu is doing that and getting everything set up for me to eat, uh, why don't you take a quick break at home, but come right back. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Great, so two 
two beautiful dishes already done. Koli is finishing off the, the Moroccan first dish. one, right? So I'm just adding the peanut butter into it, right? And as soon as it nicely dissolves into this, it's here. Now I am not too hot or too much of gravy. Yeah. So I'm going to just let this melt into it, and it's all ready for you to eat, Minoli. So that's the pork chops. Fantastic. Your Thai black pork. Well, it, I mean, it all looks wonderful, and I love the way that you've plated this color. It's quite beautiful. Yeah. Simple, um, no fast. I'm not pumper decorated food. Yeah. I don't like this. I like it's. I love to look at it, but I find that most of the places they're very highly decorated, beautiful place food, tastes a zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the wholesome cooks, you know, from the real, old fashioned way, you know. <laughs> real food. Yeah, food. <laughs> exactly. So this is all done, Minoli. All ready for me to scoop it out for you to have a little bit of couscous, right? All the lovely flavors there. Great. That's there. That's there. So I'm going to take one of these spoons and scoop a bit of this on that. All right, so then enjoy the couscous. Yeah. And I know that you were quite keen for me to taste them all at once, so you actually really can tell. The difference, diff yeah. all the three different. There's one which is Moroccan, one Thai, and the other with a slightly chinese influence, you know? Flavor to it. Yeah, so that's that. So I'm not going to put all of there, there, we have it all wow. there for you, Minoli. Great, so we're going to have your favorite dish last. Yep. <laughs> it looks lovely, I can't dive, wait to... Dive into it with the couscous. Okay, let's grab a nice piece there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I know why I want you to try that last. Mm -hmm. no? It's mm. delicious. It really is. And I love this flavor combination of savory and sweet mm. and that slight kind of slight hit of peanut butter that very and slight. Also. Yeah. Mm? From the is that from the raisins? And the tomato. And the tomato. Oh of course, yeah. That is beautiful, Kolo. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, actually all of them are so different, you know? And each one is just, you know, they're they're lovely. So Again, fabulous dishes, thank you so much. Variation of pork. Yeah. Uh, one of the best meats we have in this country. And I'm happy you enjoyed it, Minoli. Love it. I love your cooking. So yeah. <laughs> great. Well, thank you again, Kolu, um, for being on the show and giving us all this wonderful, wonderful food. Um, I can't wait to see what you have uh, lined up for us next mm. week. <laughs> um, for everyone at home, I'm afraid we've got to say goodbye. Uh, but please remember, you can always catch up with us on our website. It's www.homegourmet.lk. So until next week, happy cooking. Bye. -bye.